My name is Sam Cutty, and I was a commodity broker for half a decade. Now, we produce sunflower oil, and we're currently building our own cooperative for grains in Ukraine. Today's battle is escrow versus letter of credit, or LC. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. When it comes to protecting your investments and ensuring that financial transactions go smoothly, escrow and letters of credit are two very popular options. Both of course have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. And it's important to know the key differences so you can make an informed decision about which one is best for your needs. First, let's take a look at escrow. An escrow is a neutral third party account that holds funds in a trust for specific purposes, such as a purchase of a property or international trade, for example, commodities. One of the main advantages of escrow is that it provides a level of security for both the buyer and seller. The buyer's funds are held in escrow until the terms of the sale are met. This helps to prevent fraud and ensures that both parties fulfill their obligations. Another advantage of escrow is that it can be used for a wide range of transactions. Additionally, escrow services are less expensive than letters of credit, which is another advantage. However, one of the main downsides of an escrow is that it can be a very slow process. Since the escrow company needs to verify the terms of the transaction and ensure that both parties have fulfilled their obligations. It can take longer to complete a transaction using escrow than it would with a letter of credit. On the other hand, a letter of credit is a guarantee from a bank that a buyer's payment will be received by the seller on time and for the correct amount. One of the main advantages of a letter of credit is that it can help to speed up the transaction process since the bank acts as an intermediary and the funds are transferred much more quickly. Additionally, it is considered to be more secure than an escrow because the bank guarantees the payment. However, that security comes with a cost and it's significantly higher than escrow. One of the main downsides to a letter of credit is that it can be more expensive than using an escrow service. Additionally, a letter of credit can be used for a limited range of transactions. It's mostly for international trade. Another downside to letters of credit is that they can be monetized in various countries, which means the scammers can obtain a percentage of the letter of credit and when paired with a bill of lading scam the buyer either receives uh, lower quality goods or nothing at all and the scammer is never heard from ever again. So to summarize both escrow and letters of credit have their own advantages and disadvantages. So it's important to consider your needs and your goals when making a decision. If you want to learn more about the other types of payment methods that are used in international trade, my book, The Commodity Broker's Handbook, is now available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for you. So take care and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,